Okay, let us start this episode with this question here. Stephen purchased a car by making a down payment of $9,000 and monthly payments of $275 at the end of every month for five years. The interest was 2.05% compounded monthly. What was the purchase price of the car? And what was the cost of financing? All right, so let us begin. We have a down payment and we have monthly payments. So monthly payments tells us that PY is 12. And we have interest compounded monthly. So that tells us that CY is also 12. Okay, now the interest rate is 2.05 right here. Wish we could copy and paste it in there, 2.05. All right, now there is a down payment of $9,000, monthly payments, $275. Okay, so let's put in the $275 in here. Now, if you wish, you could enter it negative. Now, the future value would be zero because you would like to purchase the car, so it should be paid off at the end. Now the present value is what we need to calculate, and then we will have to add this $9,000 to get the purchase price of the car, right? So what we're calculating here, this present value is for what Stephen was not able to pay for, for the full price of the car. All right, so let us begin. And we will enter PY and CY as we normally do first. So second IY, so PY is 12, and I will enter that. And I could go up or down. Let's go up, and CY is also 12, so we don't need to enter it again. And we can quit. Second CPT, come out of that menu after entering PY and CY. Now we need a number of years to calculate n. So we put five and then we go second n n and n turns out to be 60. All right, now we are computing. We need to put in interest rate next. Yes, 2.05. So 2.05, that is the interest rate. Present value, we are computing that payment. We're making payments of $275. So we can put that in as negative, if you wish, or positive, it doesn't really matter. And zero for the future value because the car should be paid off. Now we compute the present value. The present value turns out to be $15,669.83. But that is not the purchase price of the car. To get the purchase price of the car, we must now add the down payment of $9,000. So there is the present value, so we must put plus this down payment right here of $9,000, so plus 9,000. That gives us the price, the purchase price of the car. $24,669.83. Okay, so that has been calculated. Now, what's the cost of financing? Well, the cost of financing is we will take the payments, multiply by the number of payments, and then subtract the present value. We do not use this number because Stephen didn't need to borrow this 9,000. That was paid at the beginning. So let us proceed to get the cost of financing. So how much did Stephen pay? Well, each payment was $275. So we'll take that number. So we recall the payment. And we click on plus minus to make it positive. And we multiply by the number of payments, which in this case is 60. So there we are, multiply by 60, and we get the total amount that Stephen paid. 
Now, this was the amount of money that was borrowed that Stephen could not afford to buy the car. So let us now go, and now we can go and subtract. We can recall this present value. We go recall present value, and then we click on equal, and that was the cost of financing or the amount of interest that Stephen paid. Okay, so now let us submit and all is correct. So that is how it's done. So just to recap, there was a down payment, <clears throat> but that is reserved to get the purchase price of the car. So the information is entered and then we compute the present value. So that present value, we must add the down payment. And that is why $15,669.83 plus $9,000 so it was $24,669.83. I guess I missed the three. Okay, but that should be the correct answer. So you should have eight three. Right? So now I subtract this number from the amount that was paid. The amount that was paid was 275 times 60. All right, if we look at that. We could just recall the payment, make it positive, and multiply by recalling the value for n. And there we go, 16,500. And from that, we subtract, we recall the present value, and we get this number, 830.17. And that is how this question is done. And we will. And the episode on that note.